This is the Look Great Naked Cooking Show, and I'm your host, Nathan Chase Plummer. I will share with you my own healthy gourmet recipes straight from the Look Great Naked Cookbook series. These recipes require minimal prep time and are sure to impress your friends. We will also provide you with the macronutrients to keep you informed on what's going into your body. Along with the freshest ingredients, we will help you pick the healthiest options. Join us each week as we provide you with the tools to look great naked. Well, ho, 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 and hey to the rest of you heathens. It, oh, f <coughs> well, ho, ho, hoes, and hey to the rest of you heathens. Welcome to the Look Great Naked Cooking Show. I'm your host, Nathan Chase Plummer, and today we're gonna to be making the Southern Bold Custard. We say bold because it's Southern, and in Kentucky, you don't pronounce the O's, you just say bold, or you put some oil in your cup. That's how we do it there. You guys, this is a specialty, not only Southern, but it's more so the region of Kentucky and Tennessee. It's similar to an eggnog, but tastes a lot better, and it's something that I'm excited to share with you guys. And so here's what you need if you want to play. We've got our favorite red rum, which is optional. If you're doing it with the kids, this is for mom and dad, and then this is for the bambinos. We also have half a cup of sugar. I've divided it up into two quarters because we're gonna be using it at separate times. We also have a little bit of eggnog, eggnog, nutmeg for garnish. Then we have two teaspoons of vanilla, and then we're gonna be using five egg yolks, just the oaks and four cups of whole milk. You could also use half and half if you're a fatty, but we're trying to be, you know, middle ground. We're just gonna do vitamin D milk. And let's get cracking some eggs, you guys. This is different from most healthy recipes where we're trying to just use the egg whites. Here we just want the yolks. Because again, this is a indulgent Christmas recipe. Fuck. <laughs> we'll get one more egg, but we'll start with the other four. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Lord have mercy. And I'm doing the egg whites, not the yolks. So we're gonna also grab another bowl. Alrighty guys, I had an egg catastrophe, but we fixed it and now we're ready to keep going. Again, we're just gonna get the yolks. We don't want the whites. So we are just going to strain out the whites, make a mess, keep that beautiful golden yolk. We need five of them. Doing the eggs makes me miss Courtney. If Courtney was here, she could be cracking these babies. Properly get rid of all of your eggshells. And then we are going to, in one of these, put in one of the quarter cups of sugar. Remember we're using a half cup total, but we've divided them into quarters just for easy use. And then we are just going to whisk the sugar into the yolks. That's where the custard part comes into play. All right, we are now going to pull out our stove and we are going to warm up the milk and the other quarter cup of sugar and then we're gonna take it from there. All right, guys, we have our stove top out and we are going to warm up the four cups of whole milk or vitamin D. Woo! It's like a laboratory in here. We're going to warm up the milk. We don't want to boil it. We just want a little bit of steam. There's actually a little bit of trick to this. We need to keep, we want to reach 160 degrees without going over 175, because then you will get lumps. Not lovely lady lumps, but like gross chunks when you're trying to enjoy your Southern Bowl custard. We're now going to add the other thing of sugar. This is the second quarter cup. We're going to add this to the milk. And hold tight, the vanilla and the nutmeg are for garnish only. Well, actually, the vanilla goes in very last after we remove it from the heat. And we are just going to stir in the sugar. And then we're just gonna let this warm up. When there's a little bit of steam coming out, we don't remember, we don't want it boiled, even though that's in the name. 
We just want a little bit of steam to come out and then once it reaches the steamy point, we are going to just scoop out a half cup and then we're gonna put it in our egg yolks and sugar. The reason we're doing that is because we want to gently warm the egg yolks. If we dump the egg yolks directly in, it would cook them. And then you would have like scramble egg, eggnog, it'd be bad, you guys. So just do what I say. This is gonna take a minute. All right, guys, we have that little bit of steam lofting up from our warmed milk. So we are going to take a half cup and add it into our yolks and sugar. This will give us a little gentle warming. After we get that in, we will then add it. It also helps loosen up the yolks because they're thick from the bowl. I'm using all my southern guys. Instead of a bowl, it's a bowl. And we're dumping it in here to bowl. And then we are going to just stir that in. So at this point, we have all of our egg yolks, all of the sugar, and all of the milk. And we're going to whisk it. You need to continuously whisk it or you're gonna get lumps for about 20 minutes. And make sure that it's around 160 degrees without going to 175. You can just use one of these little thermometers, dip it in the side and gauge as we go along. Alright guys, our southern bold custard is all cooked up. It's thickened a little bit. It doesn't get too thick. That's why I like it more than eggnog because it's a little easier to drink. We've turned the heat off and now we're going to add the two teaspoons of balena. And you just dunk it to get like the last little chips off because who doesn't want all the balena? Then we're just gonna give that a mix and then this is gonna go into the fridge until it's chilled. You can even then move it to the freezer just before serving just so it has that chill. And so we're gonna chill it out and then we'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Alrighty guys, we have pulled our bold custard out of the fridge. You can even just throw it into the freezer for a little bit just to give it a little extra chill before you pour it up. But we've got our cute glasses. And again, you can make it, this is family mode. This is for mom and dad after kids go to bed. Grandpa, Grandpa Coons called it cough medicine. Just a little nip at night to help the cough. We're gonna do one loaded, one without. My siblings are gonna be super jealous. We've never been able to make this at home. We always had to buy it or ask our grocery stores here on the West Coast to import it in. So they're gonna be super jealous. up with a cinnamon stick and do a little float of nutmeg on the top or a lot if the camera caught that all right guys and there you go the southern bold custard it's like eggnog but 25 times better all right guys cheers to a happy holiday all you ho ho ho's out there and we'll see you next time on another episode of Look Right Naked. And remember, subscribe, people. Love you. Bye. Cheese. Mm, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try one, guys. Yep.